Welcome back to Danny Phantom Month. Today we are talking about episode 18, Life Lessons. This is another great episode. This is the first one where Valerie comes back, so naturally it's gonna be good. Valerie and Danny get partnered up together in like a home ec class, I guess, um, where they have an assignment where they have to take care of a sack of flour with a happy face on it as like a simulation for taking care of a baby. Naturally, Valerie and Danny don't get along because um, they spend the other half of their time together fighting, although uh, Valerie doesn't know Danny's secret. Meanwhile, Skulker shows up and notices that Valerie is actually quite the competent hunter herself. So he kind of manipulates Danny and Valerie to fight a couple times to try to determine which is the strongest and the most formidable opponent for him to hunt as uh, he's the Ghost Zone's greatest hunter. Skulker is interestingly played by uh, Kevin Michael Richardson this time, as opposed to Matthew St. Patrick in the first couple episodes with Skulker. And um, yeah, he's just Kevin Michael Richardson for the rest of the show. Which is nothing bad with Kevin Michael Richardson, he's got a great voice. There's a few line de deliveries that I always kind of preferred Matthew St. Patrick's delivery on, such as the way he says Ghost Child. Payback time! Ghost child. I hope you've enjoyed your freedom, ghost child. Skulker's still a fun character, so it's still fun to see him. Eventually, Skulker brings Danny and Valerie to the ghost zone, to his, like, lair, um, to hunt them sort of predator style. And so Danny and Valerie have to work to learn to work together in order to escape the ghost zone. Oh yeah, and they also have the sack of flour with them while they're doing this, so they have to also protect that. This is the first instance in which we see Skulker's lair, which is sort of interesting because they reference it in the Halloween episode. It's one of the images on the map that Danny's drawing of the ghost zone. Sometimes the order of Danny Phantom episodes is a little bit unclear because it's different depending on the sources you go to. And some of the, some of the episodes aired out of order and stuff like that. The Halloween episode aired originally in October, close to Halloween, so that made sense. I'm going off of the official Oops. I'm going off of the official DVD release for this season because um, that seems to be pretty consistent with uh, the order of episodes and just continuity wise. For example, in this episode, we see Valerie in her room in her like shitty apartment where she has all these like newspaper clippings of like sightings of the ghost boy up on our walls and we see there's one that says, who's the ghost boy dating? And it's got like a picture of Paulina and as well as a picture of Sam on it, which I think is great. Even though it's like questionable of like where that newspaper came from and do they know Danny's personal life because that'd be kind of weird but still it's it's I think it's just connecting the dots of like hey Paulina and uh, Sam seem to be often in the same location that the ghost boy shows up in which makes sense there's also another newspaper clipping that says that, that the mayor declares um, the ghost boy enemy number one which of course is from the second Walker episode so this episode is clearly like after all those I mean it's it's possible as well that Danny has had like other encounters with Skulker between episodes so, you know, who knows? So Danny and Valerie now have to work together in the ghost zone to both protect the sack of flour that's part of their assignment as well as not die and escape. And so they learn to appreciate each other and and they realize that, you know what, the other person is really isn't all that bad. Danny thinks at first that Valerie's being really selfish because she doesn't want to spend time taking care of the sack of flour even though it's supposed to be like a 50-50 kind of project. And she's like, look, my life's really busy, okay? You don't understand and Danny thinks it's like yeah you're busy hunting me like and so he doesn't think that that's like a valid excuse but then he finds out throughout the episode that like she has a job like a real job where she's just has to dress up in a mascot for the nasty burger and like get beat up by like kids and stuff basically because like she's poor <laughs> like she lives in a shitty apartment and she's trying to save for college and so she has like a a job while trying to go to high school and also trying to fight ghosts and Danny's giving her a hard time like yeah she's totally fair to like be like dude I don't actually have time to work on this project and it's like the most like real like thing just like a regular person who has money problems and has to have a, a job while trying to go to high school and on top of that, all that trying to fight ghosts so yeah Danny kind of realizes that like as crazy as his life is Valerie's might just be like a little bit worse so yeah he learns by the end of the episode to like, you know, give her a break. She's not all that bad, obviously. And he even offers to fill in for her at an Nasty Burger. And Valerie also learns that like, okay, maybe the ghost boy isn't that bad because he helped her escape as well as like, 
made sure that the flower thing was protected. Uh, there's a B-plot with Tucker and Sam. Tucker starts to run this babysitting racket where like he charges other kids in the class that don't want to do the project to like take care of the sack of flour. And then Sam starts to worry that he might be neglecting their own sack of flour, so she starts taking care of it. And even though she initially thinks the project is stupid, she ends up kind of liking it and ends up taking care of their fake baby. But the subplot ends with Tucker's mom thinking that he brought home all this flour just so that she she would have flour in the house and so she ends up using all of it to bake like a shitload of cookies and so Tucker has to refund all the other kids in his class. Pretty standard Tucker B plot but I think it's a really fun one and I tend to like the ones where he does like a, a sort of money-making scheme. They're a little more fun and he always gets his comeuppance in the end. It's a little nice little satisfying B plot. Again yeah all of the different stories come from the same initiating event that they have to do this assignment for whatever class they're in. <laughs> Um, I think it's health class. So yeah, this episode just has a really great balance of Danny's high school and social life as well as his ghost fighting life. We get a lot of great stuff with Valerie this episode and some decent fun stuff with uh, Skulker as the villain as well. There's a kind of fun moment towards the end when Danny realizes that he's kind of been a jerk to Valerie. So he does the thing that he does sometimes where like he'll say something essentially to the audience and it's basically the show's version of like the Spider-Man narration so we know like what Danny's thinking in certain situations. It's almost like winking at the camera and like an aside to the audience like man I can't believe this is going on in my life. Can you believe it? It's like that kind of thing. So like towards the end of the episode he's realizing he's kind of a jerk and he just goes Man, and I thought I was supposed to be the good guy, and then Valerie's still in the room and she's like, um, what? And he's just like, uh, nothing. And it's just this kind of funny moment where Valerie, like, acknowledges that he's just, like, randomly speaking out loud, like, talking to the audience, essentially, and she just doesn't understand what he's doing. And, um, I find that funny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is just a really, really strong episode. Great stuff with Valerie, great use of the characters. Um, really fun dynamics again. And yeah, and like all the characters learn a lesson at the end and it's all tied in a neat little bow and it's just, it's just a good episode. Yeah, so that's about it. Thank you for watching and tune in next time for more Danny Phantom. Danny